আমাদের এখনকার আলোচ্য হল নাইসেরিয়া গ্রাম নেগেটিভ ডিপ্লোকাই এখানে আমরা দুটো জিনিসের আলোচনা করব নাইসেরিয়া মেনিনজাইটিস যেটা মেনিনজাইটিস রোগ করে এবং নাইসেরিয়া গনোরি যেটা গনোরিয়া রোগ করে এই ব্যাকটেরিয়া দুটো নাইসেরিয়া মেনিনজাইটিস এবং নাইসেরিয়া গনোরি তারা অ্যারোবিক গ্রাম নেগেটিভ ডিপ্লোকাই অক্সিডেস পজিটিভ যদিও এটা অ্যারোবিক কিন্তু ফাইভ টু টেন পারসেন্ট কার্বন ডাই অক্সাইড এর গ্রোথ ভালো হয় এবং দেয়ার আর টু ক্লিনিক্যালি ইম্পর্টেন্ট স্পেসিস নাইসেরিয়া মেনিনজাইটিস অ্যান্ড নাইসেরিয়া গনোরি নাইসেরিয়া গনোরি আমরা আগে ডিসকাস করি তারপরে নাইসেরিয়া মেনিনজাইটিস নাইসেরিয়া গনোরি এর স্পেশাল প্রপার্টিস একই দুটোই গ্রাম নেগেটিভ ডিপ্লোকাই মেইনলি ইন্ট্রা সেলুলার উইদ ইন নিউট্রোফিলস এখানে এই ছবিটা দেখা যাচ্ছে পরবর্তীতে আরও বড় দেখা যাবে ফার্স্ট ইডিয়াস দো দে আর অ্যারোবিক দে আর গ্রোথ ইজ বেটার ইন ফাইভ টু টেন পারসেন্ট কার্বন ডাই অক্সাইড they do not grow in chocolate agar but they grow in blood they do grow in chocolate agar but not in blood agar because they need some special factors which is present in the chocolate agar and when the blood agar is heated chocolate agar is nothing but the heated blood agar this is the larger view of গ্রাম নেগেটিভ ডিপ্লোকাই উইদ ইন দা নিউট্রোফিলস কজ অনলি ওয়ান ডিজিজ অ্যাজ উই হ্যাভ সেইট দ্যাট ইজ গনোরিয়া দে আর সাম আদার ডিজিজ অলসো গনোরিয়া ম্যানিফেস্টেন ইজ ডিফারেন্ট বাট মেন সিঙ্গেল ওয়ান ডিজিজ সো দে আর ভেরুলেন্স ফ্যাক্টরস ইফ উই ডিসকাস ইন ইন এ সিম্পল ওয়ে দে হ্যাভ গট পিলাই দ্যাট এনহ্যান্স অ্যাটাচমেন্ট টু দ্য হোস্ট ইপিটেলিয়াল সেল especially the genital tract they have got endotoxin which is lipo oligosaccharide they have got iga protease that cleaves iga of mucosa they have got outer membrane protein which uh, causes pore formation and they have got beta lactamases the clinical infections caused by neisseria gonorrhoe are in one sentence it can be called gonorrhea but if uh, details say in genital tract acute and chronic urethritis prostatitis epd dimitis 3 in case of female the organs are different so endocervicitis urethritis salpingitis and pelvic inflammatory disease if the question comes in the written you will have to write like this if in the oral just if you say it causes gonorrhea that is enough but if it comes in the written you will have to like this ophthalmia neonatrium in the children when a child uh, is born from a uh, gonorrhea infected mother then during the birth canal it acquires the infection from the birth canal and its eye is infected so ophthalmonium besides this there can be disseminated gonococcal infection like purulent arthritis so this is important clinical infection now this uh, slide is we have said that aseria gonorrhoe causes urethritis Besides Neisseria gonorrhoe, there are many other causes of urethritis, which are known as non-gonococcal urethritis. So it can come as a separate question, what are the causes of urethritis? Then you will have to write gonococcus plus this. And if the question comes as important causes of non-gonococcal urethritis, then only this. So among the bacterial causes, Chlamydia, trachomatis, mycoplasma, hominis, gardenera vagalis, ureplasma, ureaticum. These bacteria cannot be grown, cannot be cultured in artificial media. So this is important. 
viral causes herpes virus very common cytomegalovirus fungal cause is candida albicans and protozoal cause trichomonas vaginalis so this slide is also important important and you will have to uh, memorize this how can you diagnose a, a gonorrhea or gonococcal infection lab diagnosis again is based on direct microscopy and culture of the appropriate specimen immunological tests are not helpful so leave it uh, in this case direct microscopy is more helpful than my culture because this bacteria are very sensitive to drying if there is a, any delay or if the sample is dried after collection then uh, it will not grow it will die and even if it is kept in the refrigerator it will also die so a specimen is urethral discharge in acute stage and if it is chronic then prostatic masses fluid in case of male and endocervical swab in case of female microscopy uh, direct the gram stained smear and direct immunofluorescence microscopy gram stained smear will reveal gram negative diplococcus culture it doesn't grow in blood agar media special media like chocolate agar media is required and special environment 5 to 10% carbon dioxide as uh, culture is very often not good so molecular test pcr is helpful now my said nyseria meningitis it causes meningitis which is a vaccine preventable disease but there is no vaccine against gonorrhea uh, morphology and cultural characteristics more are more or less same just only difference is biochemical you don't need to remember that virulence factors uh, in case of uh, nyseria meningitis there is a capsule capsule inhibit phagocytosis there is adhesion factor that is pili there serve as adhesion factor uh, similar to nyseria meningitis endotoxin iga protease and outer membrane protein pathogenesis of nyseria meningitis in simply simple form organisms are transmitted by airborne nyseria gonorrhea by sexual route nyseria meningitis by airborne droplets first it colonize in the nasopharynx then from the nasopharynx it enter the blood stream and spread to the meninges and cause meningococcemia it is taken up by the phagocytic cells but they cannot kill the uh, bacteria so they replicate intracellularly and migrate to the sub epithelial space where excess membrane fragments are released and hyper production of endotoxin into surrounding environment leads to meningitis meningitis and complications of meningitis so the clinical infections though meningitis is most important but meningoencephalitis can occur septicemia pneumonia arthritis so you will have to remember this five again uh, as it is important cause of meningitis we will discuss about the other important causes of meningitis you see though this bacteria name is nyseria meningitis it is responsible for 25% cases but streptococcus pneumoniae is responsible for 40% of meningitis cases more than nyseria meningitis streptococcus group b it is it causes meningitis Uh, in case of children, in case of uh, neonates, Haemophilus influenzae, ten percent in case and Lyseria meningitis. Other than Streptococcus group B, Escherichia coli also cause neonatal meningitis. So you will remember Escherichia coli. also an important cause of neonatal meningitis so this is number second so you have to remember these names
Now the question, how can you diagnose laboratory diagnosis of meningitis? Initial part is same, direct microscopy, culture, direct microscopy, culture of CSF, and immunological test, that is detection of antigen or antibody, culture of CSF and detection of antigen from antigen detection, not immunological, actually antigen detection from CSF, because this is the acute disease. Antigen detection from CSF, antigen detection from CSF, and in addition to the microbiological test, cytological, cytological and biochemical tests are also very useful. PCR can also be done. So PCR we will take here. So microbiological tests are direct microscopy, culture, antigen detection, PCR. And cytological and biochemical test of CSF are also very important. You will have, so this is, so specimen is CSF and blood, microscopy, gram smear of CSF deposit according to the uh, cause of the, according to the cause of meningitis, the bacteria you, you will be seen. Cytology shows polymorphonuclear leukocytosis in culture, special media like chocolate agar is used, biochemical test, glucose protein, detection of antigen by CSF and molecular test, PCR of CSF. So this is laboratory diagnosis of meningitis. So we discussed about the causes and laboratory diagnosis of meningitis and causes of urethritis and, and laboratory diagnosis of urethritis. So this review questions, classify Neisseria. Uh, you will just classify the pathogenic, nice, clinically important Neisseria like Neisseria gonorrhea and meningitis. There are some non-pathogenic stains like Neisseria catarrhalis. Clinical importance of and treatment of clinical importance of gonococcal infections. The types of disease it will cause, you will write that gonococcal infection. We'll finish. There is a chart. Clinical importance uh, of meningococcal meningococcal infections. We are not discussing about the treatment in for nursing students. How will you prevent the how will you prevent the meningococcal meningitis by vaccine? And this is a conjugated vaccine we discussed in our vaccine lecture. Lab diagnosis of venerea we discussed. Uh, the immunological tests are not suitable for gonorrhea, but useful for meningococcal meningitis. Simple answer is that the, there is antigenic variation frequent in case of Neisseria gonorrhea. So immunological test cannot be done. Virulence factors we have discussed. So this is the questions. So thank you very much.